Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it's been a busy morning as you saw. Excuse the mess behind me. There's a little bit of everything going on in every direction. Excuse the state of me as well. It has been a long, long night. So let me explain what's going on first of all before we even get started with the day. So, last vlog um, I told you about how the girls had had a stomach bug and we weren't really sure what was going on. Well that is still going round. It's still going round. At the moment Harper and Chloe are down with it. They're still as chirpy as anything. They want to play, they want to do this, that and the other. They're not really bothered by it but they are still down with sickness and stomach bugs and stomach aches and whatever. Oh, I'm so worn out. Um, last night was a long night. We had Chloe up, Darcy up, Harper up, and then obviously all that woke Madison up. So we ended up coming downstairs. We pulled out the sofa bed in our sofa and just kind of stayed downstairs. You will have seen in the last vlog as well that Kev put his back out. Now Kev has um, bulging vertebrae in the bottom of his spine from his... I think it's his L3 to his L5 or L2 to L5 or something like that. I don't understand it. Um, but every now and then it causes him some pain and it's just not good scenario. However, he put his back out. It got a little worse. I was encouraging him to see the doctor because it's Kev. He said no. He's so stubborn. He was like, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll take some painkillers. It'll be fine. It's not fine. At present, Kevin is sat in the hospital. He, we rushed him off to um, accident emergency this morning. Dylan has gone with him because I couldn't take all the girls with us, especially that time in the morning. It was just, it was like five o'clock in the morning. It was unreal. Um, he lay on the floor to try and help his back, but then he got stuck and then he couldn't move his legs. He couldn't bend his leg up, or both legs. He couldn't bend his legs upwards and he was really shouting, I can't move, I can't move. It's hurting so much. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't help him up because obviously I'm heavily pregnant. He's he's heavy and I couldn't I couldn't get him up. Um, he wouldn't let me call an ambulance. He wouldn't let me do anything. Um, in the end, he managed to shimmy himself to his feet. He got stuck in a bent over position. It wasn't good. So I rang my mum, bless her. I rang her out of bed to see if her partner was there to get him to the hospital. Turns out her partner's not not well either. I couldn't get any taxis, could, there was no buses at that point. So we were really stuck. In the end, I managed to get a taxi and just like, can you take him? Can you take him straight to a a please? So he's in there now. He's been put on morphine. He's been given like a selection of different painkillers. Um, and he's now waiting. He's like in so much pain, bless him. He's waiting for a doctor to come around and assess what's going on and see what they're gonna do next. But it's been a really long night. I'm really hoping that he's okay. And I'm trying to clean up the house as well because there's so much mess going on everywhere. And with all the girls being sick, I just want to clean it. And as you saw this morning, I had to busy myself because it's horrible. There's nothing worse than when somebody you love is in a hospital and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. So I had to busy myself to wait to hear from him. So I decided to touch up the paint in the hallway because obviously there's scuff marks where we've been going through because it's a busy area. So I've touched up the paint there, I've cleaned all my front door, I've cleaned all the floors through there. We're now cleaning up the kitchen, Bella's been helping me. And I'm going to clean through my living room. Just, it kind of passes the time so I know what's going on. But oh my lord, it's been a really, really long night. I'm just, I'm just hoping that he's okay. I'm really hoping that he's okay because seeing him seeing the panic in his face where he couldn't move was horrible it was really horrible and see how do i explain dad how do i explain him kev could have his legs fallen off and he wouldn't complain he really wouldn't would he even when he's ill anything he doesn't complain he just gets on with it he never moans or whinges or anything like that he's not the type of person he's, he's also he's, really really stubborn isn't he yeah he is he's just great to love, even even when we know like he's if he's unwell he's really stubborn he won't see a doctor he won't take medication or anything like that he's really stubborn but when he agreed to go to the hospital and he's actually agreed to let them give him this concoction of painkillers you know something's wrong because he doesn't he doesn't do stuff like that he doesn't complain about anything so that makes me even more worried because for him to actually go well no i'm gonna 
I really need some painkillers or I really I'm gonna go to the hospital because I need help mm -hmm. you know something's wrong so that that's making me worry a little bit more but, he, like, never goes straight to hospital when he, hasn't he doesn't does he no he won't he won't he, re he re literally refuses to do anything that will help him yeah, he, he will look after everybody he's yeah. got a heart gold he will look after yeah. everybody but he won't take care of himself yeah even if he to his toes falls off or his whole leg he does not go to hospital he just stays <laughs> i know but yeah so i'm waiting to hear so i'm going to pass the time i've yeah i've been cleaning the kids are all fed and watered. Bella's been, oh my goodness, I can't even, I'm so proud of Bella. She's so helpful. She got up at five o'clock with us and she was like, what's going on? Is dad okay? What can I do? She's been really, really helpful. Dylan jumped out of bed. As soon as he knew something was wrong, he jumped out of bed and he's went with Kev um, to make sure that he's okay. Well, I did solve her bag from the boys room, so I'm guessing he like jumped up. He well. did, he did. Dylan literally jumped out of his bunk bed, stuck some clothes on, got washed like at high speed honestly and he was straight down here and to help dad New work, work hard. i know right <laughs> dylan, dylan doesn't get out of bed for no one mm -hmm. um but yeah so i'm so proud of them how helpful they've been how good they've been but i'm going to crack on first of all though i think i'm going to get a drink because it is hot already i mean what time is it now it's 8 40 now it's 20 it's 20 to 9 now yes. and it's getting really hot already so mm -hmm. I'm going to get a drink and then we can crack on. Okay, so it's coming together. I've just touched up the paintwork. This gap down the side of the door, all the like draft excluder is gone. So I need to sort out that. Why does this look black down here? It's not. It's because we've got a wire that's actually attached to the wall. I don't know why that's looking really dark. Bella is cleaning out those drawers for me. We're going to put those back in a second. I've still got a hoover the staircase. But all the paint is touched up, which is looking so much better. And down south the stairs, we've got like this little nook bit. And this is where it gets marked really easily. It's, the paint's still wet, so it looks patchy, but it's looking good. I've touched up around the stairs. It's okay, I've got to move these bits and pieces here. This flooring, oh, I hate this floor so much. It's just temporary. We did have wood flooring down, but it really didn't fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that I'm going to get wood flooring again but have like a professional come in yeah. and do it all because uh, I just, why would anybody choose these colors? I don't know, it's just not me. La, 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 la. I don't like it. Exactly, I just, it's, it's practical, it is practical, especially with the kids. We need a new carpet on the stairs as well, but it's all in good time. It's all in good time and this monstrosity of a clock. Honestly, Kev will not part with it. Why do we need it there? I don't like it. I don't like it, but he's put it there and I'm I'm letting him have his time with it there and then I'm going to move it. Okay, so Kev is back and resting in the other room. I have just cleaned, well, I haven't cleaned out yet. I took everything out of my fridge. My God, this is a lot. It's surprising how much fits into my fridge. Um, it is an American style fridge. I've cleaned it all out. I haven't cleaned it all out. Oh my goodness, Amanda, get your words right. I've took everything out and I'm going to clean my fridge because my fridge is disgusted and I will show you how disgusting it is. Look at that. Isn't that disgusting? Like where things have been dropped and spilled and you've got all the residue off of like the potatoes and the fruits and off the onions and things like that. And these bits where things have been plonked in and out, I just think it's disgusting. I need to clean it. It's given me the heebie-jeebies. I need to make it clean, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've got myself a clean cloth and some warm soapy water. I've taken the drawers out already and cleaned those up. Oh my goodness, this is really giving me the heebie-jeebies. I'm going to use my warm soapy water and give this a good old scrub and clean all this. I'm going to take all these off and clean all of these. I mean, you can see where sauces are being spilt. Even where the drawers were, there was like squished raspberries underneath. I mean, dude, this is the worst it's ever been, but we're going to clean it up. There's literally nothing more satisfying than cleaning out your fridge, I think, because it can get really mucky. There we have it one clean fridge now to stock it again <laughs> oh better hurry because i've got some raw meat actually oh, 
not going to fit. It's not going to fit. Yes, it will. Look at that. This won't be in here long because I need to actually section this into bags for meals. Okay, so fridge is all cleaned, restocked, kind of. I've got to do some fridge shopping, but I've got, I'm so out of breath. I've got some cool drinks here. I've got some uh, waters, um, Gatorade condiments, condiments. I've got my water and my other drinks up top. I've got my ready to eat meals up top. These have actually got to go in the freezer, but I've got no room at the moment. I've got my cheeses, my butters, my yogurts roots and my veg then down here i have my potatoes my onions i have my eggs in here normally i would put them up on this shelf but i've got like fresh fruit in that on here so i don't want them on there just in case one breaks so i put them in this drawer i've actually got a tommy hawk um a pork tommy hawk in here as well that needs to be used up so i've got that in there and then down the bottom i've got my raw meat i've got my mince underneath and my chicken but my chicken i'm going to bag up and put in like ziplock bags ready for freezer meals so I'm gonna do like dumping bags and put them in my freezer over this side I've got my milk my orange juice some bits that the girls put on toast and then I've got like a random cider that nobody has touched up there and I usually put my medicines up here like my calpon things like that so they're cold like if they've, if they've got like a sore throat or something they're good out of the fridge so I know we put them up there so they can't reach them and that ladies and gentlemen is my fridge nice and clean Oh, I'm so worn out now. I've got to actually do some fridge doodaring. What is it? What do you do? Shopping. That's it. I have got some other fruit that I was going to put in my fruit bowl, but I actually can't find my fruit bowl, so I'm going to plunk it in here. I got some satsumas, but I don't actually know where my fruit bowl's gone. So, and besides, it'll be nice and cold in there anyway, as well as some apples i will take them out of the bag i've got to wash these pieces of fruit anyway so that's why i've opened them up i've got to wash those and put them in i'll do the same with these and find like little bowls to put in put them in and then in my fridge right I suppose about go and check on your dad and make sure he's okay how's the poorly patient yeah, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> kevin's not very bright are you kevin no he's not you see in the hospital they give him morphine and what else they give you paracetamol and he's already taken ibuprofen but then they give you a whole concoction of medication to bring home with you didn't they and kevin thought i'll just take it i'll take it all didn't realize he was supposed to space it out but i have spoken to somebody and he is safe don't worry but he's a little bit sleepy and drowsy and not quite with us at the moment oh yeah no that's the thing though, isn't it? When you're in pain, you just want to make it stop. You just got to be really careful. I realised I didn't actually tell you what happened with Kev. So he got there, he, they did some, well, they did just kind of move you around or some kind of procedure on him anyway. The um, trials, the trials, you know, what, what, um, what, what was wrong, obviously, what pain and what else. Yeah. Um, so he was like, in the pain, and I was like, yes, please! <laughs> yes, please, I want the pain relief. So he was going to ask them for an epidural. Yeah, but she gave me um, some morphine and some paracetamol, um, which helped a little bit, then it didn't see where I was, but I've got a lot of pain. It's not just in your back though, is it? It's around, it's around like his abdomen as well. I think it's stronger. Yeah, so um, they, they give you, do you mind if I say what they give you? Yeah. <laughs> no, they give him naproxen, diazepam and cocodamol. Um, and they'd already given him morphine and paracetamol and you'd already had ibuprofen as well and but you kind of give him this prescription and said go home take these didn't give him any explanation as to when to take them or anything so obviously Kev's come home he's in a, a large amount of pain and he's taken all these pills together thinking that's what we're supposed to do and I said to him are you supposed to do that so I googled it and it says not to take cocodamol and diazepam together and I was like oh no okay quickly called a pharmacist and he assured us that he would be okay he's just going to be really sleepy 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 
Um, and then obviously he advised us on when he should be taking this medication. But I think I think you kind of get in that state, don't you? When somebody gives you a painkiller, they're like, I want the pain to go away. How do you feel now? Has it kicked in? No, it's still got a lot of pain. Would it help if you lay down? Please, I'll have to lay down, you couldn't get back up. Yeah, but if we if we lay you across the sofa, maybe pad it out with some pillows. You can use my pregnancy pillow. Oh, Barry. Mm, you can get Barry. We call my pregnancy pillow Barry. Um, good old Bazza. Um, do you want it, Do you want me to get him and then you can curl up, see if that'll help? Handle. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll see if that'll try. Uh, see if that'll work. It is so ridiculous hot. When I say it's ridiculous hot, it's ridiculous hot my hair is like stuck to me oh are you hot Darcy yeah how are you feeling no Baba she hasn't been herself all day have you she's been really off color and I think she, I think she might be next with whatever this bug is that's going on I hope not but she doesn't want to eat anything it is really hot as well so I don't know if it's just that but she doesn't want to eat anything and she doesn't want to really do anything. Hey, do you want mommy to tie your hair up so we can cool you down a bit? No, you don't want your hair tied up? Oh, Bubba. Where's my cutie? Where's my cutie patootie? Oh, you can do my hair. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for doing my hair. Can you hear how, uh, Madison? Madison keeps saying, my mum, my mum. My dad. <laughs> Oh, Baba, you broke out. So you've got some eczema. Oh, you've been itching. Uh huh. We've got to try not to itch it. If it's itchy, you need to come and tell Mummy, and we can get your cream and put your cream on. Yeah. Look at the mess you have made. Did you enjoy your lunch? <laughs> you seen a mush, Dad? Dad's feeling loads better. Those those pills that you've been given are miracle workers, aren't they? He's still walking with a hunch and a little bit funny, but he's feeling loads better. Maddie Addison. <laughs> She's waiting. She wants some milk. You want some milkies? <gasps> Ooh, milkies. We've got the back doors open. I've cleaned. I've been cleaning all like the door frames and everything, and all the windows. And I've got the back doors open, but she keeps trying to go and like tip herself out the door. She literally, she was running around and she was walking about and whatnot, and I, she went straight to the step. And it was just lucky that I was there. Normally she doesn't go near it, but she's in her little car because she was having something to eat, and her high chair, hi high chair, is broken. She said, oh no! So I've got to get her a new high chair to sit in. But right now, she's covered in ice lolly. Did you have a nice lolly? She's not going to talk to me now until I get her some milkies. You win for your milkies. We need to clean up your mush, dude. <laughs> okay, I'll get you some. Is that better? Is that better now you got your milkies? Oh, that is a frown. Dude, what did I do to you? <laughs> is it because I put you in the car? <gasps> Are you giving smiles to Daddy? Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, she so needs a bath. She's covered in so much ice lolly. And chocolate. And her lunch is all over her. Definitely bath time later. Just picked up some bits from Tesco's because I'm feeling a little homely today. And I wanted, we just moved this cabinet over here. And I wanted like a plant to go in there just to hide the bubbling wallpaper, which I have to fix. But not yet. Anyway, moving on. Uh, in Tesco's, we picked up this little um, scented diffuser. This is literally £1.50 in vanilla and honey. Uh, I was going to say flavour, it's not a scent. Picked up this candle as well. What is it? Aroma... Is it DJ? DJ Regido. I really can't see it. It's so um, small. It's so small. 
Uh, this is Ivy Moss. It's a three wick candle. It is absolutely gorgeous. It smells delish. Then I got two of these little um, four succulents, which I thought would go nice on these tables. I just don't know what whether I'm going to clean these up and put them on there because they're really, really old or get something different. Picked up this plant. This is not a full plant. This is a real plant. You can tell I've been faffing with compost because I've got compost all over my hands. Yeah. We put a little bit more in there because there just wasn't enough. But I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so in love with it. And then this was on reduced for twelve pounds, and I just thought it was really nice cuddle colours. What did you think? Yeah, it, I was like, "What is that? Isn't that real?" And she was like, "No, no that's not real. It's like, fake. It's gorgeous." So I don't know what brand this is. Is it Tesco brand or uh, Bay Bayswood? It's really nice. I think that is a Tesco's brand. I'm not sure, um, but I thought this would be really nice in like a window ledge. I'm just trying to brighten it up in here a little bit. You know, with like just on a budget kind of thing. But I really like those bits. I also got this um, a duvet set because we really need a new duvet set. And I'm really into like all the natural greens at the minute. It do, the colour does not show up well on the camera. But it's like this. Um, it's not ridged. Is it ridged? Ruffled? I don't know. It's a lovely, lovely colour. It looks like that if I can get up close. Looks like that. just plain and simple. I thought with some nice little throw cushions on our bed, it would look really nice because our bedroom is next in line, and this is kind of the thing that I'm going to be going in my bedroom as well. So you'll be seeing more of this. But for now, I'm going to place these out, see what they look like. Obviously, there's a few other little bits that I want to get, and a few things that I want to replace around the room. But you know, all in good time. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Manson is just having some dinner. She's got some of those chicken bits that she likes, some alpha bites. Hey, are you having fun? Mm, she's really bemused because we have changed around the living room. I get bored every so often, and um, when we put new things in, it just doesn't look right to me. I've got a whole load of stuff here, like on the coffee table that I've got to move. But. Grumpy bum? Excuse me, grumpy bum? <laughs> we have to sit her in this at the moment because her high chair is broken. So this is kind of the next best thing, but she doesn't like it and she she would rather run around. Oh, it's just not your, it's not your high chair, is it, dude? Um, at least you like the chicken. Um, but yeah, we got a, new, a few new things. We put the plant and the bits and pieces over there. You can't really see it that well. Hold on. Can you see it now? Uh, yeah, so we, we put a few things over here on this cabinet. Um, and then we moved the tables over here. i zoom out a bit. Over here, I've still got a few bits to move. And then the TV back over here. And... We went and got some of these cushions from Tesco's because these are really nice. We like these ones. We did have these really bright yellow um, buzzy bee ones that I thought looked really nice. But then when I got them here, they just clashed so much and they were way too bright. So they've gone to return those. And we've got, we're have got we going to pick up some other ones that have got like leaves on them and things like that. See how they look. Hopefully they're going to match. <laughs> but slowly it is coming together very slowly slowly i've got this rug down here that i've had for ages now but i'm actually gonna put it um i don't know if anybody ever has ever done this but where you put your rugs in your bathtub and you kind of strip them clean use like bicarb and um <laughs> dad 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 use bicarb and like comfort and washing powder and things like that and like strip it all and make it nice and clean get the stains out i'm going to do that with that because it's been through the washing machine but it just isn't, isn't bringing it up nice enough so i'm going to try stripping it and see if that works but it's coming together i've still got loads to sort out and bits and pieces and on this wall mind the thermometer that's hanging on the wall i don't know why i kept put that up there but on this wall we're going to do like a gallery wall eventually i just haven't found any frames that i like i really haven't and obviously, like I said, all this flooring we're going to get rid of eventually. And this here, we need to find a proper consult table to go in the hallway. Because this is actually a bedside table that we just had, like, flying around. We just put it there temporarily. And I need to change, like, the lights up and stuff like that. So, yeah. 
It's come together short, slowly but surely. I can see you, Miss Thing. I can yeah. see you. I see you getting up to nothing but trouble. Madison Rain. It's a good job that it's close. Don't put that zip in your mouth, dude. Don't put that zip in your mouth. Completely ignoring me. Thank you, long, young lady. That was better now, wasn't it? Wow. Oh, the only thing is, when you try to feed her in this thing, she's like everywhere. Okay, so the yellow cushions have been exchanged and we've got these floral ones. I actually like these so much better. What do you think, Dills? I really like the floral ones so much better. They kind of tie into the room. So it's looking better. I've still got all of this to move. I'm going to lose this coffee table. I've got a high chair too clean. The high chair is broken. Okay, when I say it's broken, this cover is split down the side and it's really sharp. So I'm having to really watch when I put her in it. But honestly, trying to feed her in that little car was just not it. So I put her in there and just made sure that she was safe and she was with me the whole time. But I've actually just found that you can order replacement parts for this because these are like £70 to buy. So I've ordered some replacement parts so we can keep that. All I'm going to do is clean up the frame and that's good. So I've done that. But it's looking good. Yeah. And then over this side, please excuse me. Still, like I said, I've got to clean all this up and sort this out. The cot will not be staying there all the time. Going to do me whole photo wall when I get a chance to and find frames that I like. But this is what this looks like in the minute. I wanted to do more, I wanted to tidy up more, but literally with eight kids in the house, that's just not gonna happen. You can see here where the um, paper on the wall has bubbled because of the heat of the radiator. So I've got to find a solution for that or either just kind of remove all of the paper that's on the walls and just kind of go full in with paint. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'd love to go actually. I don't know if a radiator cover would look right over there. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, it's like I said, it's work in progress. Work in progress, dudes. Hey guys, so it is the next morning and I realise that I didn't end this vlog. I was just watching the footage back and I didn't end it. And it honestly, last night was just as crazy as the night before. It's been a really long night. It's actually really early in the morning at the minute. And me and Lily are just sitting outside. We had a cup of tea. Bella's been out here. Oh, but it's been crazy. I've woke up with the worst hay fever as well, so that's really helpful. I feel like we've just got this really long train of bad luck at the minute. It's good. It'll sort itself out. It will. But I wanted to quickly come on and just end this vlog. I realised that I told you what they did for Kevin yesterday, but I didn't actually tell you what was wrong with him. So I thought I'd quickly fill you in on that before I go. Um, so basically, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, Kev has bulging vertebrae in his lower spine, in his lumbar spine, from his L2 to his L5. And it's an ongoing thing that will cause him pain. They have offered him an operation in the past, but said, you know, it could just be a temporary fix. So it could be like a massive hoo-ha and it is risky. So, you know, it's up to you whether you want to do it. So he decided that he wouldn't do it because, like I said, there is risks involved and it could only be a temporary fix um but when he went in yesterday basically what happened all his muscles around the bottom of his back and around his abdomen and down his side had just seized up and they'd all kind of clenched up and held him in this weird position so basically it looked like he had been cut in half in at his torso and then stuck back together in the wrong position his bottom half of his body was over here and his bottom half uh, his top half of his body was over here and his bottom half was like over here. It was so strange. And then his neck was kind of stuck. Um, and should I actually should have got some footage to show you, but it's it's sorting itself out now. The medication that they've given is supposed to help with the pain, like majorly with the pain. And he's been on cloud nine. The pain has really eased since he's been on these pills. But when it wears off, he's really he's in a lot of pain again. Um, but they're also supposed to help his muscles relax. I think that's what the doctor said. Um, so that they ease off so he can he kind of get back to normal. So yeah, that's what's happening. So at the moment, I mean, he's lying down at the moment. He's still in a bit of pain. Um, you can only take so much of this medication to help with the pain. So it's just a case of resting and relaxing to make it get better. Um, which means he is out of work. Thankfully, he is self-employed, so he he has flexible hours. 
um, you know, he, he works on his own accord, um, which is lucky, but still, he's Kev's not the best when he's out of work, he gets very bored and it drives me a little bit mad. Um, but yeah. he, he doesn't like sitting in one place for too long, so he's gonna get very agitated. I can. I can just I can see that coming. He is because he's he's a working man. He's not a sit around do nothing kind of man. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. The girls. We Lily was up last night. She wasn't feeling too good, but we're not sure whether it was anything to do with this tummy bug that's been floating around. We think maybe you were too hot, didn't we? Because it got really really hot in our house last night. Yeah. Um, so once again, we ended up downstairs. It was a very long night. Um, Darcy was up as well. She kept crying that she was so super thirsty and she was really hot. Um, Madison didn't want to seem to go to sleep either. And Mad Harper, it was like musical beds with Harper. She just, she couldn't settle in one place. She was everywhere. Yeah. But it, well, like I said, it was really, really hot in the house. I think it was that. So, yeah, it's been another long night. I'm just hoping that all this kind of moves on and we can get back to normal. <coughs> Please excuse my sniffliness and my very husky voice. <laughs> it's hay fever's not my friend this morning. But I know you don't like hay fever. It seems to be doing its rounds, doesn't it? Dylan is the worst, bless him. Even though he takes his antihistamines, um, it doesn't seem to work. Which, which is your worst season? Summer. Summer, really? I don't think I have a, a favourite or a worst season. I like them all. I mean, I really like autumn. I love autumn. Here she comes. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not one of my best videos. It was a case of just videoing what was going on. But, and getting the vlog out there. But there wasn't really much for me to show or do. Because, obviously, everything that was going on. But yeah, if you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. And if there's anything that you want to comment on, ask me. Definitely hit it up in the comment box below. And I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mwah.